Welcome in the next lecture. Well, this isn't a course about animation. It's a basic course which is intended to teach you some basics about animations. Um, let me maybe select this, this previous slide and because I wanted to show you that if I click on the fade, the fade has been added to this picture. Then if you click, click on something else, like the pulse, the pulse has been added to this picture, but the fade has been deleted. So the problem here is that you can have one animation at once if you click here. Let me click on the fade again. But there is this crazy function called add animation. And if you select add animation, you can add animations on top of each other to one object. Sometimes the, this goes wrong because like you cannot have in one moment a fade in and fade out, fade out animation. But like that's uh, animation specific. Normally you try to select animations which work. For example, let's select the spin. As you can see as an added animation. So looking here, I'll right click select with previous. So they happen simultaneously. And what will happen here? Let's maybe make the fade out, fade in, sorry, duration a bit longer. And what will happen here? It will fade for one second. And during this fade, it will already start to turn until it turns 360 degrees. As you can see in, in on this box, you have like a layered animation. This informs you that there are multiple animations on, on this one object. Shift F5 to start with this slide. What will happen once I click my mouse? It will start to fade in and it will turn. See, this is how you approach making complex animations. Of course, this is just an example and we would have to, uh, to come up with some elements to animate it like that. But I wanted to show you the concept of adding and stacking multiple animations to one object. The cool thing is here that you can do as many of them as you like, just with previous and delay them a bit. You can have multiple animations on one object without limitations. Please test it out yourself.